Hello and welcome to Customs Pro. In this video, we will show you how to create a new shipment into the UK. Before we start, please ensure you have a copy of your invoice to hand, as this should contain all of the details required to complete this process. For this video, we will be using an example invoice. Your invoice may look different in appearance, however, it should contain all of the correct information required to complete the following steps. Firstly, once logged in, click the New Shipment button. This will then load a new screen entitled Shipment Details. The first step on this screen is to ensure the Type field is selected as Into UK. Next, beside the Route field, click the drop-down menu bar to see all of the available routes within Customs Pro. From this list, click which route your shipment will be taking. In this example, we will be using Calais to Dover. The primary contact is the person who will be responsible for administrating this shipment. Upon clicking the menu bar, you will see a list of any contacts you have previously added. If the person you wish to assign is listed, then simply click their name and move on to the next step. If the person you would like to assign as the primary contact is not listed here, then simply click the plus button to the right-hand side. A new pop-up box will then appear where you can input all of their contact details, including name, email and telephone number. Upon completing all of these fields, click Save and this person will then be added to the primary contact box and will now always appear within your list of contacts. The next field, entitled Notify Additional Parties, allows you to have other people besides the primary contact notified of the customs details. This feature is ideal if you regularly use a specific haulier who you would like to receive all of the information for the customs entry, instead of you having to pass the information on each time. If you do not need anyone else notified of the customs details, then move on to the next step. However, if you would like to have other people notified of these details, then you must first select either a group or specific contacts. Both options will enable an additional field to appear below, where you can simply choose the name of the group or individual contacts who are listed within your account. If the group or contact you are looking to add is not listed here, then you simply need to go into settings in the top main menu in order to add or amend groups and contacts. The customer reference is a field which allows you to input a personalized reference to ensure you know which shipment this is in reference to. There's nothing specifically that needs to be inputted here. It is simply a description for your own reference in the future of this shipment. So you can input what you would like here. This number must be unique. The vehicle number is the vehicle registration number, or more commonly known as the number plate. And similarly, if applicable, the trailer number is the number plate of the trailer. If you input the vehicle number, then you don't need to input the trailer number, and vice versa. So, if you input the trailer number, then you don't need to input the vehicle number, but you can put in both numbers. The expected date of arrival is simply the date in which the shipment is due to arrive at the final destination. So, in our example, this would be Dover. Click inside the white field box in order to see a calendar pop-up, and from here, you can select the correct date. The final field on this screen is the Upload Attachments section. Here you can upload any documents you would like to store within the shipment details, so that you have everything in one place for ease. For example, invoices, customs documents, etc. To attach a document, simply click the Choose File button, locate the document on your device and then click Open. This document will then be added into this field and you can continue to repeat this process by clicking the Add Another Attachment button in order to add as many documents as you would like. We recommend you always upload the documents. Once all of these fields have been completed, you can then click the Save and Add slash Amend Consignments button at the bottom of the screen. If there are any errors within the fields on this page, then the system will alert you. Otherwise, you will now see the next page entitled Consignment Details. Firstly, you'll notice your consignment number has now been automatically created for you. 
Next, your company name will automatically be added within the UK Trader field. If you need to amend this, then click the Menu tab and select the correct trader name, or if the trader you wish to use here isn't listed, then simply click the plus button and complete all their details in the new pop-up box that appears. Exactly the same as mentioned earlier when adding a new contact. The partner name is then the name of the party that is selling the goods to you in the UK. Click the white section of the menu box and select which partner you wish to add here. Again, if they are not listed, then simply click the plus button and add them via the pop-up box. The declarant will be auto-filled with channel ports and would usually just remain as such. However, if you did need to change this, then simply click the menu item to show the list of declarants or add a new declarant by clicking the plus button to the right and completing their details. The next six fields should now all be information provided within your invoice. So please reference your invoice for the following fields and input the information exactly as it is written. These fields include the total amount of packages within your consignment, the gross weight, which is the total weight of all goods, including the goods and packaging. The net weight, which is the weight of only the goods themselves without packaging. Please note, if you do not know both your gross and net weight, you can input the same weight in both fields. Your invoice number, as it appears on your invoice. The currency in which your invoice is charged. And the total value of the invoice. The next field is your Terms of Sale, which you will need to know in order to gain the correct option for this field. There are many options to choose from, and guessing an option could incur unnecessary charges. So, if you're unsure, then please check with your hauler or supplier. For this example, we will choose CIF, Cost, Insurance and Freight, which means the sender is paying the costs as part of the invoice value. Other options, such as EXW, XWorks, will unlock additional fields which need to be completed. Next, as you'll notice, your Declaration Unique Consignment Reference, DUCR, is auto-completed. Then your last field is to select whether your consignment has only one commodity or not. A commodity simply refers to the type of goods in your consignment. So, if you only have one type of goods, then you can select yes. But if your consignment has more than one type of goods, for example, a range of furniture consisting of beds, chairs and sofas, then each of those will be a separate commodity and therefore you will need to select no. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will only have one commodity. Once everything has been completed, click Save and Add Commodities to move on to the next step. The next screen is entitled Commodity Details. Since we only had one commodity, most of the fields are auto-completed from our inputs on the previous screen. However, if you have multiple commodities, then the following steps will apply. It will just be a case of inputting these details multiple times for each type of commodity that your consignment contains. So, firstly, the product code. If you have any previously added product codes, then you can click the product code field box and a drop-down menu will appear of any products you have previously added. If you are doing this for the first time or need to add a new product, then simply click the plus button and complete the required fields. If you're unsure as to which commodity code your product is categorized under, then please visit www.trade-tariff.service dot gov dot uk forward slash find underscore commodity to find the correct commodity code for your goods. Once your product code and commodity code is added, simply input the commodity gross and net weight. If you are simply adding one commodity, then this will be auto-filled. On some commodity codes, HMRC require a second quantity. It will display what this quantity is, for example, square meter, or number of pieces. The currency is also auto-filled from information provided in the previous screen, as is the value. However, 
if you are adding more than one commodity, then you'll need to input the values separately. Number of packages isn't a required field. However, it will help the shipment process if this is known. The country of origin is simply where the goods originated from, which in our case is France. But select whichever country is correct for your consignment, as goods could ship from France, but their actual origin could be China, for example. Preference type allows you to select either yes or no. For reference, the standard preference information will be provided on your invoice. If you select yes, then three options will appear. Just select whichever option is correct for your consignment. If your goods have a value of less than 6,000 euros, then you do not need an authorization number. If your goods are valued over 6,000 euros, then you are required to provide an exporter's reference number. Then the final field asks the question, are the goods licensable? And you simply select either yes or no, then click save. From here, you'll then see the final commodities screen, where you can check all of your inputted details, and if anything is incorrect, you can click edit and edit any information, or simply delete the commodity if it's no longer required. Once you're happy with the information, click complete. This will now automatically submit your shipment to customs and then show the very last consignments into UK screen, which will show all of the information regarding your consignment. The progress status will update automatically and if you want to come back and check anything at a later date, simply click Shipments into UK in the main menu bar and you'll be able to see all your consignment information. We hope you have found this information helpful, but if you have any questions, then please contact our support team who are here to help 24-7.